Hey folks, this is a video tutorial on the four coasters from the September Kiss Sew Along. This product includes four different coaster designs that can be made in the 4x4, 5x5 and 6x6 size hoops. We recommend that you follow our written, photographed instructions in conjunction with this video tutorial. In this tutorial, Martin will be showing you the stitch out of the Sunflower Coaster. Over to Martin. Place two layers of woven washaway stabilizer in our hoop and pin around the outside perimeter of our hoop. We then place on a piece of cutaway stabilizer and a piece of batting on top. We're going to stitch down our outline of our coaster. These four layers will make up the, the thickness of our coaster. We're going to cut the top two layers, which is our batting and our cutaway stabilizer away from the edge of our stitching line, leaving about uh, one to two millimeters on the outside edge of our stitching. Make sure that's all even. And go to the back and cut out two layers of wash away stabilizer from the inside of the stitching. Make sure you've got both layers and don't cut through to the front. This will help when actually washing out the project at the very, very end. Let's place our background fabric onto the right side of our hoop, so it's right side up, and stitch around the outside perimeter. We're leaving enough seam allowances outside edge so it's easy for us to trim up later. And then we're going to go ahead and do our background detailing or our quilting. And then we're going to do the placement lines for the first set of petals for the sunflower. Going to lay on our first colour of our petals and we'll stitch out the four petals that we've done the placement lines for. Trim back one to two millimetres away from the stitching. If you use the tip of your curved blades, you actually get a closer cut. Now let's do our satin stitch around the edge of these four petals or leaves. And we'll proceed to do the placement lines for the next four petals or leaves. Putting on our second fabric for, for these, stitching around the outside edges of them. Then we'll proceed to actually trim these back. Just the way we did for the green ones. And now the satin stitch around the outside edge. That's the outside leaves complete, complete. And we're going to do a placement line for the central color of the sunflower. So there was our placement line. Let's put on our fabric. Just keep sweeping the fabric away with the pink thing just to keep it taut. We don't want any pleats in this. And again, trimming up against the stitching. Make sure it's nice and even. We don't have any extra pieces hanging off the edges and then we're going to do our plaid pattern mesmerizing to watch right 
satin stitch around the edge of our center of our sunflower. And since it's a fall coaster set, we've got our letters in each of our coasters. And so this is the F for fall. Now we're going to turn our hoop over and place our backing fabric onto the back. And we're going to use our washi tape to hold it in place. Put it back into the machine, stitch around the perimeter. Now we're going to just take our washi tape off. And trim up to the edge of the stitching. Cut any straggly bits off, any threads that are hanging out from the edge, cut those off as well. Turn to the front, again do the same thing, trim our back fabric or our background fabric off around the edge back to one to two millimeters. We want to change our bobbin so as it matches our top thread, gives you a better satin stitch finish. Place the hoof back in and then we're going to do our outside satin stitch. Our seating stitches, our under stitches, our corner stitches. And finally our satin stitch. See, that on the back. There's one more step, which is our stitching around the inside edge of our satin stitch. Right, we're complete. Now we want to trim our stabilizer back so we're about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of our satin stitch. Don't go too close to it. And with some warm water, we want to actually remove the edge of our stabilizer off our satin stitch. You can do it with a, um, a Q-tip or a, just dip it into the water or you can submerge it, whatever you wish to do. And once you've got all the resin from the wash away off the edge of the satin stitch, we just lay them out to dry. I just press them off between a paper towel and then that's all ready to go so it just needs to dry. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on the four coasters from Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery. Remember to share your wonderful projects on the Kiss Sew Along Facebook group and let's share the love. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. And as always, happy crafting.